So the idea of this video is just to show how everything connects up with this interface. What this interface will do is connect up to Supura mobile terminals. At the moment, one of the things that I'm working on is connecting this up to handsets also. It'll control quite a few different features within the radio, but one of the things that it's probably most interesting for is uh, getting the radio to scan. So this shows the interface in its enclosure. It's a totally aluminium enclosure. This is the board which sits inside. We'll just vanish this out of the way for now. The lead to connect the radio up to the enclosure to connect the uh, control head is just here and that lead goes around here into the side of the control head and where that plugs in is on the back of the control head it'll plug into one of the PEI ports. Okay so to connect everything up you've got the uh, power lead, there's three conductors on here, there's uh, power supply ground 5 to sort of 30 volts give or take that would be just fine DC and then a separate line here which is marked with uh, a bit of blue heat shrink which goes back to one of the uh, digital IO ports these are located on the power supply lead at the back of the radio okay so fairly simple really you plug the power supply lead in and you get the LED to show that the power is indeed applied then we've got the remote there's going to be varying versions of this this version's a, a simple vehicle based design So what we do is just plug it into the, the, the socket marked remote and you can see the LED illuminates on the remote to say that's powered up also and then the control head again you just plug that into where it says control head right at this stage it's worth pointing out that the PEI socket that you have uh, plugged the this into is now basically occupied by the remote so you've lost an audio accessory in a way because you can now only have a fist mic or a telephone handset whatever the case may be but you can only have one audio accessory now well all of the audio pins press to talk everything is replicated here on this socket so there is still access to all of the uh, functions of the socket inside the back of the control head so in reality you haven't lost anything although it will need some customization to plug into here okay so to set the radio off scanning simple just press start and you can see the LED starts to flash and you can see it scrolling through the talk groups now the way that it does this is it, it scrolls only within a folder so at the moment if I just hit stop the folder that we are in is my groups so in my groups there are only three talk groups there's DRLP1, DRLP2 and DRLP3 so once it gets to the end it just goes back round to number one okay so again you hit scan and it sets off scanning if I take a handset and this one is on DRLP01 uh, wrong sorry 02 and it lands on that talk group one two three test and it'll just sit there and pause you can see the red LED flashing if I let go of the press to talk switch now and when the group call ends 
it returns back to scanning. Okay, if I hit the press to talk again just now, there you go, it sits and pauses on there. Okay, and then if you want to stop it from scanning, just press and hold the stop button and it will stop scanning. All the normal features on the radio are, are available as per usual. You can select different talk groups. You can still talk with the regular audio accessories that you use. No problem with that whatsoever. What I'll do is I'll do another video shortly showing what other things this interface can control because it's not just scanning it'll do a whole host of other stuff I'll include a list of the features from the radio that this will control I'll include a list in the video description down below okay I think that's it for now thanks for watching